Well, the kid's finally back in school. It was... Uh, <laughs> the snowpocalypse continues. It was still... So my daughter's school, you have to drive up a hill mm-hmm. to get to it, like right in front of the school. So it's yep. surprisingly not very well suit. plowed. And um, surprisingly, it was a bit of a yep. Mad Max. Yeah, I could see that. Not to mention there's just like lanes missing because there's just nowhere for the snow to go. So like what is a two lane road, both directions heading into school is now a Mm -hmm. one lane road. And it's, yeah, I'm ready for it to melt. But we're supposed to get two more inches, I think, on Friday. So it'll be great. Just, you know, whatever. At least least the house is quiet again and I can actually think. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes, I know. So here's, um, here's a fun one for you. Yeah. So the Lenovo Legion Go S will, yep. will let you choose between Windows or Steam OS. This is yep. like this is a problem for Microsoft if they don't like get <clears throat> get it together. There, dude, there's so many things going mm-hmm. on right here. Like right yeah. now, all of a sudden. So yes. So Phil Spencer at CES has said we're working to make windows make more sense on these things and like they've done little things like compact mode for the xbox app yada 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 but you know fundamentally architecturally xbox and windows are kind of the same at the at a very base level but you know there's a lot of windows that gets in the way and it'd be like Mm -hmm. you know they kind of see this future where there's less windows and more of an xbox experience and uh yeah and so i feel like valve saw this was coming and was like all right, I guess we should get going on that Steam OS thing again. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Um, because it's, it's real easy to say, well, Windows is just better for gaming and all. And, and it is. However, well, here's, yeah. here's the massive counterpoint to that. What is the thing that everybody installs once they have Windows? It's Steam. It, that you right. literally install Windows just so you can run the Steam app. So... Steam has the games, Steam has the users, Steam has hardware now, and it's like if Microsoft shows up in five years with a handheld, it's like, ugh. They've done a lot of work to make their games work on Linux, which is the Steam OS Mm -hmm. stuff, and, and, you know, we'll see. There's a whole other world of gaming that's not Steam, obviously, but, I mean, Steam is the big one. Um, it's an interesting problem. Windows has better compatibility with more games and better experiences in Absolutely. those games. Absolutely, not, not even a question. But but, but, but it's but. bigger. <laughs> but it's bigger. The the thing helping them though, by the way, we talked about this yesterday, is the AMD stuff, especially. But X eighty six is getting better on these devices. So AMD just released, um, I think it was three tiers of the C two yep. chip. Only one of which, by the way, is actually <laughs> worth the damn. The but extreme or whatever. The, the whatever the highest end. Yeah. yeah, it's probably extreme. Um, but. This is something I've experienced on normal laptops. Like I, I, I think it's transformational that you could take a business class laptop with a basic CPU, and it runs games great. Like this is incredible. So, and especially the, to your point yesterday, 1080p on those small devices. Yep, seven eight inches. Is, 1080p is exceptionally is fine. Yep. Um, we'll see. I mean, uh, did you see, by the way, this is tangentially related to this, but did you see the NVIDIA MediaTek thing? Oh, the the CPU that they now have that's in this yeah, like so $3,000. Yeah, so confirms the rumors and shows that they, they're not being explicit. Uh, Jason, Wang, whatever that guy's name, the, the CEO of uh, NVIDIA said, obviously we're working on something. We'll have more news soon. But the yep. basic deal is for right now, NVIDIA partnered with MediaTek to create this three thousand dollar Nvidia computer that it runs some Linux thing mm-hmm. for um, scientists and researchers and things like and that. And it's ARM so, based, uh, to be real clear. It's ARM based. Yeah, right. That's the point. Sorry. Yep. Um, MediaTek is free to sell a more efficient version of this that will run on normal PCs and will. Mm-hmm. Um, they may or may not. It's up to them. They could give it back to Nvidia too and say you can do it as well. Like th- th- that's the partnership. So we see the basics of this thing. We've sort of been talking about for a year or more with the notion that other companies are coming to the arm pc space and um but they're talking about it right so in semi-vague terms so that's interesting too i think we to kind of bring those two things together there's some future version of arm-based portable gaming either handheld pc or just handheld gaming unit there's something coming right for sure that 
has NVIDIA graphics and MediaTek or whatever, mm -hmm. and maybe there'll be multiple versions. Qualcomm is going to up the game with the graphics in the yep. next gen. But I, I think this is where it's headed. And I, as good as the, well, as good as the AMD stuff is, like the the, the primary advantage there is the super, like 100% compatibility, right? The All the game stuff. So ARM as a platform has to get there for games. Like that's a, they've done all the compatibility work. They, meaning to Microsoft mostly, but Microsoft, let's say Qualcomm, to make that a better story. And it is way better for apps. Um, it's incredible, actually. This past year was amazing for that. But the game thing is not even close. So maybe that's going to be a, or it has to be a push for that to make sense. So we'll see. But yeah, I bet it's Xbox definitely one of those platform. I want, I want to call it a moonshot by Steam because they are in a unique position. But it's mm -hmm. one of those things where they have the capacity to, to just wait, right? They can play the, which they've already done with Steam OS. They can play a very long game on this. Yeah, well, so the happens. so yeah, so the, the the fundamental advantage they have in a way, which is kind of a weird thing to say, mm -hmm. is that Linux, as the underpinnings, is a much less resource intensive platform yep. than Windows. So they have the compatibility issue. It's better than Qualcomm slash ARM, or Windows and ARM, but but still a pro. You know, still you still have to pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a Steam a Steam Deck or whatever, you you. I, limited is a tough term, but you're, you're limited. You are limited, right, to whatever works on that device. I mean, the nice thing about the PC, every one of these things is a double-edged sword. Like It absolutely is. <clears throat> yeah, Windows slash PC is nice just for the compatibility, but mm -hmm. then you have to suffer from the overhead. Linux is nice because there's less overhead, but then you suffer from compatibility. So there's kind of a, there's always this trade-off. Yep. And I think this is where Windows and ARM could make sense, if it, but it's going to require Microsoft to have, we're, we're getting so close to, we have all these, Super resolution technologies, there's a million of them now. And um, obviously, Steam, at, uh, my, and I would say Microsoft to a greater degree, has done work to bring executables over, you know? It, I feel like we're right in the cusp of something really interesting here. You could. It, I mean, if you went back five years ago and said, what's interesting in the Windows space? You'd say, well, there's Intel dominates, whatever, AMD exists, and maybe this ARM thing will ever shake out. And now today, and then we all laugh and be like, "Yeah, maybe." Yeah, <laughs> you know. But now yeah. it's like, wait, mm -mm. Yep, yep. Intel maybe. is struggling. AMD has the highest performant yep. desktop CPU. Qualcomm yep. is in a very healthy position and a growing market share, and Nvidia is starting to show up with uh, some new interesting stuff. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, there's so much explosion of information this week. But the one thing we just kind of learned, and I, I, I already knew. I mean, I knew this. I was told this, but. You look at all the 117, whatever, I keep using different numbers, <laughs> Intel CPUs that they announced. They're all Arrow Lake uh, mm -hmm. of some degree. They're all what would have been Meteor Lake V2 with a, like a 13, 11, whatever it is, tops MPU, not a Copilot plus PC. And, and I know that's not, it's not a big deal in some ways because there isn't a lot of stuff that takes advantage of it. And certainly not a lot of mainstream stuff that everyone would agree was like, yeah, we all need that. You know, like that's not a thing, but the, the, the sheer efficiency of this stuff is I think what's going to drive that coming generation of games um, that will rely on that thing, right. That will either be generating worlds or characters or whatever it is like on the fly and do so in a really efficient way and make sense on these highly portable devices, right. Whatever they are. Mm -hmm. So, Anyway, it's a. Uh, <laughs> this is. I mean, I I, I make fun of CS. I yeah. hate CS. I I. But but if you think of CS as a forward leaning kind of a show, here's a bunch of stuff we're going to start selling this year. Some of mm -hmm. it will come soon. Some of it will be later. Some of it may never happen. This is perhaps the ultimate expression of that, right? It's the. Uh, we're not ready. It's not ready, but we're talking about it. It's getting there. And we're getting hints and sometimes, you know, overt information. Yeah, we typically think of CES as like whatever self-feeding dog bowls. But the most interesting <laughs> thing to come out of this are yes. just chips, right? It's Intel, AMD, Qualcomm, and some handheld devices. So It's aligned itself with a set of milestones that occur throughout the year where PC makers, in this case, announce devices that are based mm -hmm. on chips that, you know, like you said. So AMD... Intel, Qualcomm, MediaTek, NVIDIA, everyone who makes hardware has shown up and said something. PC makers, despite the fact that this is a consumer electronics show, have announced a bunch of 
uh, commercial products, right? Yep. Everyone's using it as a launching point as one of like two, I would say two major launching points, although technically there were, I guess, three, but um, for some sales cycle that will occur throughout the year, right? Back to school, just the first half of the year, back to school and then like a holiday season. And um, yeah, we'll see. It's, it's going to be an interesting year, um, which I guess is just true all the time now. It's getting weird, but right? I mean, it's just, I, I don't know. AI has made everything different. Fast. Terrible. <laughs>